In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Xdebug in Docker. I have Xdebug's website running in a Docker container started through Docker Compose. Let's stop our container and add Xdebug to our configuration. First, we open our Docker file and add Xdebug as extension. Besides adding the extension, we also need to configure Xdebug. I have pre-created a configuration file which will copy into our Docker container. In this configuration file, we load xdebug in our first line by using zend underscore extension. We set xdebug's mode to develop and debug. Develop is used to overload PHP's vardump and make stack traces and debug is used for the single stepper. With xdebug.start with request equals yes, we instruct xdebug to start a debug connection for every request. We then configure through the following two lines how xdebug connects to the IDE. We make sure to turn off discover client host and instead we hard code our host to host.docker.internal with xdebug.client underscore host. On Linux, we also need to configure what host.internal.docker is. This is only possible since Docker engine 20.10. We do that by setting extra hosts. This setting sets host.docker.internal to the special value host gateway, which Docker will resolve for us. Having made the setting, we can now rebuild our Docker container and start them. When we now re-request our homepage in our browser, we will see that on the command line, you now get an error saying that Xdebug tried to connect to our host, but couldn't. This is because we haven't configured our IDE yet. Let's configure PHP Storm. To configure Xdebug, go to File, Settings, and then search for Debug. And then make sure to select Debug that is under PHP. We do not need to make any changes here, but you can see that the ports that Xdebug uses are by default 9000 and 9003. To make PHP Storm listen for incoming debugging connections, go to Run and select Start Listening for PHP Debug Connections. When setting up Xdebug for the first time, I would also recommend to turn Break at First Line and PHP Scripts on to check whether our configuration works. Now we can request the page again. In PHP Storm, you get the incoming connection from Xdebug pop up, where it will ask you to match the file path on the server with a file path in your project. I have mapped my xdebug-xdebug.org project to var www in my Docker container. And PHP Storm is now asking to map these together again. It handily has already suggested the right file. So let's just accept this. Xdebug interrupted PHP on the first line where we can now step through our code. So let's step over to our next line. And once we have done that, we can now see the contents of the requested URI variable and continue stepping through our code. Once variables get defined with content, we can also inspect these in the variables window. This was our first debugging session, but it is also possible to interrupt our code flow just on the places where we want it. To that extent, I have set a breakpoint by clicking in the margin here in line 68 to only pause when we hit the reporting bugs URI. In order to not stop at our first line, I'm turning break at first line off now. And in the web browser, click on report issues. Xdebug has now interrupted PHP at the exact location where we set our breakpoint. By stepping in, we can then analyze which code is being run for creating our content. However, we get an error because PHP Storm cannot find our path. Let's have a look at what our path mappings actually look like. You do that under file, settings, and then there is a box called servers. You can see here that the path home direct dev php xdebug-xdebug.org slash html is coupled to var www html. But we also have project files outside of this path. In fact, I've mapped my project URL to var www in Docker. So we need to create a path mapping for that instead. Because this is a parent directory of HTML, we can now remove the path mapping made for that one. 
I can now click step over again and continue debugging the files that we now have a path mapping for. By clicking step out, you leave a function and go back to the calling function. This was now our second debugging session. In future videos, I will show you how to use the more advanced features of PHPStorm NX Debug to analyze your running scripts.